Hello, my name is Sachin and in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to use Gmail as an email client like Outlook. So without wasting any more time let us start our tutorial. This is Windows 8 machine which I am using. Let's go and open the Chrome browser. Ok. So basically I already have an email account with godaddy.com with my own domain name. As you can see the domain name which is info at the red .com. So what I want is if I receive any email on my GoDaddy email account that email should automatically come to my Gmail account. Also I should able to send emails using my personal domain name from Gmail. In our case it is info at the red .com. So the first thing what we have to do is to get the settings which we require to enter in our Gmail account. In our case we are going to click on tools and then click on email setup center. This opens up a new page which contains the email server settings. This includes incoming email server POP3 settings and outgoing mail server SMTP settings. I have already copied these settings into the notepad. So let's go to the desktop. Ok. As you can see the settings are over here. The email address, the password which actually I am not going to show the POP3 settings of the server and the SMTP settings of the server plus the port numbers. Now let us go back to the browser on the second tab. I have already opened up my Gmail account. Now before starting the configuration I am going to send one email from my Gmail account to info at the red .com. Ok there goes the email address. Let's type test and then click on send. Now let's go to the GoDaddy webmail and check out the mail which I have sent. Ok click on inbox. This is the email which I have sent from my Gmail account. Now we are going to set up our Gmail as an email client for my custom domain name. For this you have to click on the settings icon. Click on settings. This takes us to settings page. From the settings page click on accounts and import. Here there are multiple options are available. We are going to use this option. Add another email address that you own. So let's click on it. This opens up another window. Here you can specify a name. In this case I am using my name and my personal email address. So let's open the notepad file. Copy the email address and I am going to paste it over here. Then click next. Here we are going to enter the SMTP configuration. Here you can see the auto generated SMTP address which is wrong in our case. So we are not going to use this one. Let's go to the notepad. Here we are going to copy the outgoing SMTP server address. So let's copy the SMTP address which is this one. And I am going to paste it over here. So the address is smtpoth.secureserver.net in our case. Now let's check it out the port number. On to the notepad. For the SMTP configuration the outgoing port number over the SSL is 465. Basically the SSL stands for secure socket layer. That means when you send an email it will go through a encrypted channel. Now from the drop down I am going to select 465. Now as you can see over here the first option is already selected by default. Next we are going to enter the username. The username will be the same as the email address. That is info at the red .com. After this I am going to enter the password of my GoDaddy email account. So let me type it down. I am not going to tell you the password so don't worry. Then click on add account. Here an email has been sent to our personal email address. In our case it is info at the red .com. Once again let's go to the GoDaddy webmail. I am going to click on inbox to refresh it. So this is a confirmation email which we have received. Now to complete the verification you can click on the following link or you can copy this confirmation code just like I am doing copy then go back to your gmail account go to the pop-up window 
enter the verification code and click on verify so now we have configured the email sending part of this configuration let's open the inbox into a new tab click on compose here you can see on the from section there is a drop down if you click on the drop down you will see two different email addresses you can select the one from which you want to send an email I have selected info at the red .com. and I'm going to send an email to petercrest1 at the red gmail.com let's type the subject test 4 times 2 and the message will also be the same click on send so this email has been sent to my gmail account with from my personal domain name click on the inbox and here you can see the email address which I have sent open the email here you can see from which email address this email has been sent from my custom email ID to my gmail ID now let's go back to the gmail setting tab if you see on the GoDaddy webmail there are two emails in the inbox now in our next configuration we want any email which comes to our GoDaddy account will be fetched automatically into our Gmail account let's close this tab now here you can see the option which we are going to configure check the email from other email account now click on add a pop3 mail account first we are going to copy the email address that is info at the red petercrise.com and we are going to paste in the window okay then click next step now in the username column I'm going to type the same email address that is info at the red petercrise.com now select the password column I'm going to enter my very secret password after entering the password the next column is pop server automatically it is taking mail.ptechrise.com as a pop server let's check it out on the notepad the pop server setting given by godaddy the settings given by godaddy is pop.secureserver.net let's go back to the configuration window and we are going to paste the settings which we have copied that is pop.secureserver.net for pop server we can use two types of ports one is 110 which is unsecure and and the other one is 995 which is over the SSL SSL means secure socket layer to select the different port click on the drop down and I am going to select 995 now here there are several checkboxes are available we are going to select the second checkbox always use a secure connection when retrieving mail now let's click on add account okay so now we have also configured the pop3 server as you can see over here it is showing my custom email address that is info at the red ptechrise.com click on the inbox click on compose now when you open the compose there are two email addresses from which you can send an email one is info at the red ptechrise.com and the other one is ptechrise1 at the red gmail.com now I am sending this email from ptechrise1 at the red gmail.com it's my gmail email address and I am going to send it on info at the red ptechrise.com so if everything goes well I will be able to receive that email back on my gmail account subject is test triple three and the message is test triple three click on send now let us click on the inbox here you can see I have received one email which I have sent on info at the red ptechrise.com let me open the email and show it to you let's click on the arrow drop down here you can see I have sent an email on to info at the red ptechrise.com from ptechrise1 at the red gmail.com now if I go to my godaddy webmail you can see there are no emails because the email has been fetched by the gmail and that email has been removed from my godaddy email account so this completes our this video tutorial thank you for watching this video tutorial hello friends thank you for watching this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video share it with your technical IT friends 
If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions, post a comment here or catch me on Google Plus, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter, and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami, powered by ITZOG.com, and you are watching this video on YouTube channel Peter Cries.